Hi everybody, my name is Yong Long Shi. I'm PhD student at CPAIDS from Taiwan Tech. And today it's my great pleasure to talk about our project High Power Density Megahertz LLC Converter using half turn transformer. The project's advisor is Professor Huang Ren Chou of Taiwan Tech and Professor Yu Chen Liu of National Elan University. I would like to express my great appreciation to PhD students Chen Chen and Kai De Chen from Taiwan Tech for their great efforts on this project. Recently, Cloud applications have become very popular, so many more data centers have been built. To save energy and reduce the lane area, high power density and high efficiency converters are needed. There are several converters to convert the high grid voltage to low DC voltage for providing the power for data centers. This work focuses on how to achieve high power density and high efficiency for a 380 volt input to 12 volt output isolated DC DC converter. To improve the efficiency and reduce the value of isolated DC-DC converters, the following strategy was applied. First, a LLC converter which can achieve zero-voltage switching with GAN devices was used to decrease the switching loss of the primary side switch. Second, a single integrated planar transformer with loss atomization was used instead of using a resonant inductor and traditional transformer with least wire. Finally, a synchronous rectifier was placed for the secondary side switches rather than traditional diodes to decrease the conduction loss. The winding of the traditional transformer is worn around the center leg whose flux is the sum of the outer leg's flux. In our work, the winding is separated to two and then placed at outer leg. Therefore, the flux cancellation is achieved at the center leg which can be removed to reduce the core loss. Because the high current goes through the secondary side of the transformer's winding, the copper loss is high. To reduce the copper loss, the previous work reduced the length of the winding. However, the core size increased according to the Friday's law because of the reducing number of primary side turns. This work proposed a new winding method that can maintain the same number of primary side turns and reduce the length of the secondary side winding via induced magnetic field theory. As a result, the proposed transformer can reduce the volume core loss and copper loss simultaneously. Our work, there are five steps to design a transformer. First, determine the shape of a magnetic core. Because the round type core can make the flux distribution even and reduce the length of the winding, a round type core was chosen. Second, the maximum flux density is determined to be 80 mini tesla to limit the core loss. Under this condition, ML91S is chosen because the PCB is, is the lowest among the candidates. Third, the RDC and RAC of the winding is calculated by considering proximity and skin effect. Then the core loss according to different Q values which is proportional to winding area is obtained. Fourth, core loss is calculated via an equivalent electric loop equation. After that, core loss for different Q values which is inversely proportional to effective area of the core is obtained. The final Q value is obtained as the value that has the lowest total loss of the core which is the sum of the core loss and the copper loss. Then the size of the core can be calculated based on Q. The figure shown here is the simplified model of the primary side winding and secondary side winding. To verify the proposed design, Maxwell simulation software is used. The side view of the flux distribution proves that the flux of the core is evenly distributed. The secondary side induced, induced voltage shows that the turns ratio of the transformer is correct. The secondary side induced current proves that the current sharing of the secondary side winding is very even. For the power stage PCB board, this is the primary side gain switches, the secondary side silicon MOSFET, and the optimized planar transformer. The core size is very small because it is benefit from the high switching frequency and the flux cancellation. The gate signal is provided by the development kit of 28035 via coaxial cable, and the power for the gate driver is provided by the external power supply. The input voltage is 380 volts and the output voltage is around 12 volts as shown on the voltage meter. The resonant current and the VDS of the low side switch is shown on the oscilloscope. The switching frequency is close to the resonant frequency to increase the efficiency. Meanwhile, the VDS of the low side switch shows that the zero voltage switching is achieved. The specifications and the switching devices used in the proposed work are shown here. The highest efficiency is 95.2% when the output power is 400 watt. The highest temperature of the tampon is lower than 80 degrees Celsius under full load. There are lots of researches focusing on high power density isolated DC DC converters as shown on the table. Compared with those, the proposed prototype has the highest power density. A pattern for this works under review and the paper for this work has accepted. This is our project from Taiwan Tech. Thank you for watching.